Lord of the Stars, the pit. Yeah. I picked this game up on Steam sale not too long ago. It's essentially a roguelike, hardcore death in a randomized type of dungeon, but with a science fiction bend. I'm gonna turn down the sound a bit, it's pretty loud. <laughs> turn that down just a bit. There we go. Pretty basic game options here. I mean, there's not, there's a gamepad. I mean, you can do a gamepad if you want. I don't know. I, mean, just, I use the, the keys. I have played this a bit, it's pretty good. So let's just play this. I think I should start a new game. I had a. I had a game going, but I think I died. I think I died. But let's just start over. The idea is you, you're basically in the Sword of the Stars universe in this planet with normal mode, and you're trying to find out uh, where this cure is for like some kind of plague that's broken out on a on a colony. And it's basically zombie plague. <laughs> And so you're looking through this dungeon, this pit, they call it, to find the technology to help with this. So what class do we want to play? Um, I think I would like to play the Engineer. We've got three classes, Scout, Marine, Engineer. Scout is... Well, there you go. Pretty much a light uh, unit, as far as I can s I've never really tried the Scout. She has light combat skills and some basic training, yeah. And technology and medical skills. Marine is kind of your heavy guy. Yeah. <laughs> His common skills are still sharp. And he has more uh, weaponry, I believe. Like his assault weapon skills higher and everything. That's one thing about this game. Everyone, you have a bunch of different skills that you can raise up as you're playing, which is kind of cool. But the this risk is that you die and then you have to start over because yeah, it's hardcore. I've played an engineer before, so I'm going to play an engineer again. I like the engineer. Yep, that's fine. And here you go. This is it. It's a randomized ma map, basically, with multiple levels. And your inventory, press I to bring it up. You have a bunch of stuff. Here's my equipment. There's already creatures here. And maybe I should have, like, chose to <laughs> do the tutorial. Um, sure how to I know there's a way to switch weapons and stuff the engineer has all these kits and stuff for repairing fixing things it's a motion sensor there's your anti-venom so you have a bunch of these uh, items that you can uh, use bandages rations you know lock picking set this the engineer has quite a bit just a bunch of stuff here just playing around with it there's your weapons there's your your medical supplies, and so on. Alright, let's close that. And you basically, you move around with the wads, and there's a way to switch weapons. I forget what it is. I think it might be. Oh, so here we go. We got some guys coming. We got bats. So I have to basically aim at them. I click on them because I have my gun. Loaded in an issue. And I'm gaining some experience engineering. Oh, I missed! Oh no! Kill him. Pistol damaged. That's another thing too. Your 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 items will wear out. Pistols and such. Floor entrance. Bone slivers. Can I pick that up? There's a way to pick things up. It's space, I think. But it's maybe going to be a problem because. Ah, no! Don't bite me, rat. Don't do it. <laughs> so there's your character screen. And each of these you can level up. Your might, your finesse brains. Skills will level up too. And they all level up when you gain experience. There's your stats. There you go. How do you interact with stuff again? You pick... Oh, no! Kill him! And I believe R is reloading. 94 rounds. Sealed. I can't get out. Hmm, what am I gonna do? Hmm. So, 
what I would like to do with an engineer mainly is get these mechanical lock picking seals up. As you can see, they're pretty high. This pistol's pretty high. Biotech. Assault weapons, not so much. Knives, pretty good. <coughs> you can pick things up here and bring them into your inventory, and you can craft things with them later. I'm gonna just check the uh, keys again. So it's Dex. It talks about gameplay. Keys. Select enter. I think you had entered and grabbed that stuff. Yeah, that's right. Previous page, next page, so it's gooey and everything. Turn down. There's your wad, turn up. Turn up? So you can turn. Open inventory, stats, soft desk, map. Space interacts with stuff, but I can't interact with the stuff on the ground. For some reason. Grab item, G. That's what I need to use, grab. G fought grab. Bindings. Bone slivers. Rune crate. Can I do anything with it? Interact with it in any way? No. Grab it. I could shoot it and then destroy it completely. But there's really no point in that. Sometimes there's something there. It's probably better that I use piss my knife for that. We're gonna check the controls again. <laughs> there's a way you can. I know there's a way you switch items. Let me just check that. Like switch your weapon. Modifier. Targeting, interacting, reloading, grabbing, skip, reset. Next weapon tab. Previous weapon mod tab. Tab. So that just switches through your weapons. So now I'm using the knife. Alright, let's just look around and go as long as we can. It's turn based, kind of. You take a step, everything else around you moves. But you could sit there and waste a turn. X, waste a turn. Like, it just lets things pass. Zool infant swarms. These. These things are gonna get me. I could shoot them. Save grenades. There's a lot of little like neat little things in the game. There's a lot of different weapons and a lot of different items, and you can modify weapons and and make them have special abilities. Pretty cool. So let's just play for a bit and see how we get, how far we get before we die. Horribly. Get out of here. I missed. No. Ah, got him. Get him. Woohoo! I think that means I leveled up. Yeah. Press C to level up. So level 2 now. So as you're playing, you gain experience and you level up. <coughs> it's pretty cool. So I'm going to level up. Hmm. I think I will work on... Gee, I don't know. Maybe pistol? You can see here it costs 2 points to level up a point. 1 point for the pistol because I've been using it. That's generally how the skills work. When you use them, it's cheaper to level them up. That's what I've noticed so far. Might, uh, Vaness, Brains. Hmm. I have two stat points, so I may as well level them up. I'll level my Finesse up, and I'll level my Might up, because I might need to punch stuff. And I've got six skill points, so let's see what we can do. We're only level Pistol. I can only do it once. Let's see, I'm going to level Lockpick, and what else? Decipher can be useful because you can de decode special locks and stuff. Blade, not so much. I mean, unless I want to go sword. It's like too much to level up anyways, right? So traps, I'll level that up a bit. There you go. And I have one point left that I can't spend. And I think that will be saved. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep looking around. You can search through all kinds of these piles of rubble. And it gives you, you press space. It tells you to forge, how to forge. That's a skill I should raise up. Let's take a look at this rock pile. And while I'm doing that, you can see things are coming at me. So, no, you're not going to do that, buddy. I'm not having it. And it looks like a plate of food dropped there. Let's mm -hmm. grab it. Raw meat. Is there anything there? Rock. There's nothing here. It's just a body. I could destroy that rock pile. I've skill upgraded. Yeah, there you go. Let's, uh, let's just show this one. Forging. What do we got? 
Skills go up as you're using them too. I can see here. Skills upgraded. What is, what's that? What is that? A floor key. Let's get that. You've acquired a key to this floor. It can now open most locked doors. Nice. See, I don't know all the stuff that's in this game. It's kind of interesting. Am I hitting myself there? <laughs> no, I'm hitting the rock pile. You can just destroy the rock pile with a knife. Why not? So what's up here? Oh, oh, we got a rats. Rats! Stinking rats. Get okay. let them. Okay, okay, kill it. You can attack at angles too. Just left click. Yeah, nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. Oh, you hit me. Ouch. These are your. This is your health and your like uh, food. So you have to keep an eye on these things too. And when they start getting low, you've got to eat food. And you know, obviously, you've got to heal yourself when your health is low. You can do it with bandages. Oh, there's a bat. Kill him. Nice skill upgraded. Yeah, he didn't drop anything. Well, that sucks. Basically, what I'm going to do is try and clear this floor before I go to the second level. But the second level it could be nasty. I've been killed right at the entrance of the second level, right, right away. It's just crazy. Hamel crate. Uh, let's interact with it. Mechanical skill, just 99 percent chance of success. I just pry this open. I bet you. What's in here? Ammo. Lots of ammo. We have pistol and rifle rounds. Grab it all, because we need, we need definitely pistol rounds. Can I kill this? Destroy the crate? I missed it. Oh, I'm damaging it. I'm damaging it. I'm damaging it. Destroy it. This guy's standing here. Kill him. I can't destroy the crate. Oh, I could. Well, there you go. Not that I needed to, but there you go. What's in this pile of rot? Let's check it out. Anything in here? Uh, what is this? A ballistic repair kit. Okay, I have one of those already. Let's go, let's go back to the entrance here and just kind of look at her. Oh, no. We got company. No, ow. Everything on this first floor is not too difficult. Really. I mean, look, there you go. I just killed it like right away. Bone slivers. It's not too difficult, uh, but it can get nasty. Let's take a look at some of the stuff here. So I have these repair kits. I'm going to put these down here. And I've got this motion sensor. If you use that, it goes boing. But I can't see anything. There you go. There's the red dots are creatures. So that's pretty handy. You know, there's something over there and stuff over there. Okay. And I think you can just charge that up. So lockpicks. My food. This is a digital assistant. This digital expert system gives advice on how to handle other computer systems and will add to your computer skill. It only carries limited charge and it requires recharging from recharging. So when you get to Certain things like a, like a locked crate, for example, that has a code, on, a key code on it or something, you can use these things, or or you need to decipher something. These things will be options in, in when you do, try to use, try to interact with something like that, like the forging. That screen will pop up, and it'll like let you pick the item as, a, and it'll give you bonus to the skill chance. Or you could just just go straight with your skill. Uh, med kit. These are like healing items, so I'm going to put them there. Uh, ammo, lots of ammo, 120 rounds. Raw meat, you can cook this if you can figure out how, you have to find something to cook it in, like a stove. Polymer infuser, that'll help you fix armor, and that gives you gain bonus, bonus to fix armor. Uh, grenades, yeah. Kind of obvious what those do. Uh, this is all kind of stuff I need to craft things with, so I'm gonna put down here. Okay, now I can use this to fix my gun if I want. So right now, what is it at? <coughs> it's a uh, 34 or 35 durability. So that's all right. I'll, I'll use it up a bit more before I go into it. I want to check something in the, in the settings here. I'm I'm pressing X <coughs> to. Excuse me, I have a cold. Skip a turn, okay. That's what that does. So yeah, you have the soft X, you can go through this, you will find things, here's the soft. You find it, recipes that you can can make things out of. Like you can see here, I got, it needs cooked meat and Tarka war bread. I don't know where you'd find that. Your key pad, your key, like everything here is pretty useful. It's all like information about how to, all the stats, good 
bit of information here since if you need to check on something you can just check on it you can see I've got a few rewards here already like touchdown like achievements all these achievements here so let's move on let's see like I don't this level is pretty big actually here's the map this is quite a large first level what's in this rock pile let's see this forage 75% chance of success let's see if we find anything good we've got a pill looks like a food pellet a food pellet okay that's handy let's just like destroy this rock pile there might be something in it I don't know if that's actually going to work, but hey. Oh, 72% chance. Forging skills 40. Skill upgrade, another food pellet. Very useful. Helps you eat. Kill it. Come on, how can you miss it? It's right there in front of you. Jesus, buddy. I don't think there's anything else in here. This is just a dead area, it looks like. It might be away on the other side of the map. Let's go. I can't zoom any further in. Uh, destroy it. Just left clicking on it to destroy it. What's in this pile? Rock pile. Forging 41. Oh no! Not trained for this. Nothing there. Skip a turn. Get him. Yeah. Anything in here? Get it. Oh, there's nothing up here. There's no way up here. Is there a way through the wall? No. It's just a corner. So we're basically looking for the way down and going as deep as we can go. Oh shit! Wow, he went right in front of me. I didn't even notice. What is this? Bindings and Sonic Nodule. Weird. Let's use my gun. Shoot it. Shoot these bugs. I don't want these worms getting close to me. Disgusting. Okay, so here we are. There's the way down. I don't know if I'm ready for this, man. It's. I've died as soon as I've gone to the second level, guys. It's dead. More food pellet. Yeah. Okay. What's in this rock pile? Not, let's see. Nothing! Ah, die! Freaking rock piles. Useless rock piles. I can't, I can't get that. Is it gonna do anything with that? No. Rune crate. Can I get anything? Interact with it in any way? No. Just destroy it. Might be something. I don't, I don't think this does anything. Nice skill upgraded. So yeah, there you go. Uh, what's in this rock pile? More food. Get it. It's useful. There we go. And this one? Let's check it out. 70% chance of success. And you see everything you do, like using a skill or attack, gives you some experience. What did I get? Rations. Okay, that's good. I'm getting good food here. What do we got for food? Sonic nodule. This is an ingredient. A specialized auxiliary voice box that allows the creature to emit a hypersonic signal. Yuck. I'm going to put things that are ingredients down here. So that I don't get lost. So that I don't get you know confused or something. Uh, food pellets. Food, food, food. Food for thought. Medical stuff. Yeah, that's all right. Small nutrition pills that can be used as a resource. Kind of dry though. <coughs> so that's it. That's that level done. So we got to make it to the next level, guys. Can we do it? I don't know. What does my soft have to say? Nothing. Sot's desk. So yeah, the game is set in the Sword of Stars universe. Now, I've never played Sword of Stars. I remember playing a demo of the first one ages ago, but I've never played the full games. So, it's an interesting take for them. I mean, they went from that real-time strategy type game, 4X type real-time strategy game, to this. It, but I gotta say, for a developer to take that chance is pretty cool, because that means, for them, it's gotta be nice to switch gears. And for me, it's nice, because I get an interesting game. So let's go down to 